crafty friends it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I am here with two different cards featuring washi tape for the New Instook Designs Use Stripes Challenge so they have an inky paws challenge and the latest one is to use stripes I thought that it was a great time to use up some washi tape because laying down washi tape can very easily create stripes and I don't know about you, but I have like a couple of jars full of washi tape. And so using them on cards would actually be really helpful because a lot of times I just use them to seal envelopes and you only can use so much that way. So here I'm going to use them for something a little bit different. My first idea was to take these really thin solid colored washi tapes and create a rainbow with them. I work on grid paper but you could do this with a grid mat or just a sheet of graph paper. And I'm essentially using that to create a straight line. I think that it's a little bit trickier to try to like draw the line in and then lay your washi tape down because you'll want to be able to cover your line, but that's also a choice. I was able to use the grid lines to set up like the first piece of washi tape and then the rest, you don't really have to worry about it anymore. So if you draw a straight line on a piece of paper, line it up with the bottom of the paper. That should be enough to get you started and you won't need the grids after that first piece. So with the purple I did find, which was my first piece, that I didn't lay it perfectly straight and over time after you know making a couple of these, since I actually did make I think three of the rainbow card and I make another card in this video, I was getting better about laying washi tape down straight and for now I'm just letting it hang over the edges because I thought that that was a little bit faster. I'll just kind of like tuck them all in together at the end. And also that if I tried to make sure that each piece was only exactly as long as the paper, that would again be just a little bit more frustrating. So I'd rather lay on some extra and tuck it in at the end. If you didn't want them to be perfectly straight and you kind of like the rough edges of the washi, you could just make smaller strips and lay it across the cardstock as well. And this I'm working on a piece of cardstock that I will put on my card base and even though it'll be white on white, I again, I just thought it'll be easier to create this panel and adhere it on rather than to work directly on the card panel. However, if you wanted to work directly on the card panel and you didn't want the washi tape to show inside your card, you could just cut off the edges instead of tucking them under. I think that overall this technique works really well with solid colors um, or using solid colors mixed with patterns. And that's what I'm going to do on the second one here because I think that most of us probably have more patterned washi than solid washies. So I am using a gold with a heart pattern that also has gold in it. And I'm basically going to create a piece of pattern paper the second time. At first I thought, oh, I'll just cover a little bit like I did with the rainbows where it's just kind of like a rainbow panel at the bottom, which eventually will ground an image. But this time I just thought that given the way that it looked against the white, I actually didn't love that personally. I kind of preferred um, for there not to be white mixed with the really shiny metallic here. And so I'm going to instead just cover the whole piece of paper with it. I wanted to add a little image to my rainbow piece. Uh, again, like this, like I said before, this is for the new Nook Designs Inky Paws Challenge, so I wanted to use their stamps. And on um, the second card, I'll use their dies, because they also actually make a lot of great standalone dies. They make coordinating dies for their stamp images, but there's also some fun standalone dies. Or some. Um, the one I'm going to use is actually like an extra die that comes with your coordinating die. So instead of just cutting out the images from the set, it includes an extra uh, word die. So I thought that was really fun to, you know, kind of get a little bit of extra value out of your coordinating die sets. And so then it's something a little bit different than what, say, the Scan and Cut provides. So here I'm going to be coloring these penguins. And I know that I am going to fussy cut them out because they're relatively simple. So... I will color right outside the lines. That's another reason I sometimes prefer fussy cutting because then I don't have to worry about coloring in the lines where if you're going to cut with a coordinating die or with something like the scan and cut and you want to leave that border or with the scan and cut you want it to detect the border where the color stops, you have to stay inside the lines. So sometimes when I'm feeling lazy, I actually fussy cut because it's a little bit easier than coloring inside the lines. 
I trimmed out my images and I used the warm grays. I did really simple blending, just created a little bit of shadow on the penguin for some interest. And then I'm going to stamp the Your Cool Sentiment. The penguin and the sentiment are both from the Wild Child stamp set, which is perfect for Mother's and Father's Day, but also can be used for just general cards like this one. This, like I said, I made three, three, um, copies of it and so I'll probably put at least a few of them in my box for cards for hospitalized kids and then the second card I like I said I created a piece of pattern paper with that washi and I'm going to add this smile die cut to it and I cut it out of black cardstock I put adhesive on the back of the black cardstock before I die cut it it's um, Elizabeth Crafts adhesive but I know some people like to use stick it for a similar purpose I find this to be a little bit cheaper and now I have three smile die cuts and I was kind of going back and sort of toying with the idea of like, do I want to stack them and make it a little bit more prominent or do I want to emphasize the stripes created by the washi and lay down the smile three times? And as you can see, that's what I decided to do. And I thought, you know, going with just three would be good because things tend to look a little better in odds. And then I'm going to just place this on a card base and let that really pretty washi just kind of do its thing and be the focal point of this card. So that's it for two quick cards that show you how to get some of that washi out of your stash. I hope that's helpful for a few of you. And like I said, Newton's Nook Designs Inky Paws Challenge. So I'll leave a link to that in the video description below so you can check it out. And you can also win a gift certificate there if you participate. I'll also leave links to the different products that I use in the video description below. And thank you so much for watching. You can like and subscribe to this video and I would appreciate that. Have an awesome day. Bye.